Hiya! Yeah, so we were just interested to see what you guys believe in or what this stand is about. Uh, yeah, uh, so the great controversy is, is that the Seventh day Adventist uh, book by Ellen G. White? It's one of her books. Yeah, so you affirm like the prophethood of Ellen G. White? Like, sorry? The prophethood of Ellen G. White. Have I? Ask that question again. Do you affirm the prophethood of Ellen G. White? I believe she is a prophet. Yeah, she's she's the Bible a prophet. Always comes first. So if anything she says contributes against the um, Bible, yeah. Then so like, take so like in terms of the history of the movement of the Seventh Day Adventists, uh, it came out of an 1840s movement with a prophecy by the Protestants that in fact Jesus Christ would come down in the 1800s and then Ellen G. White took over that movement establishing well, that no, no, she, she was a part of that movement she changed the prophecy stating that in fact you don't know your information I do know my information you've got A.T. Jones you don't know about A.T. Jones do you? you've got Wagner these are all men that wrote prophecies and wrote books so you believe yeah hold on so now you believe that Jesus did not come, do you believe in invisible returning or do you believe no, Jesus went back? If you understand the Holy Sanctuary, you understand yeah. that Jesus moved from one and the outer Yeah, moved to one part to heaven and the other, but some affirm an invisible... Daniel, if you read yeah. Daniel, Jesus says, to, Jesus says to look at Daniel and prophecy. You want, you want to jump in, David? You may laugh and mock, if you want to mock him up and look, I suggest you go away. Okay, I'm so, quite serious about this. if, if possible, mock, so, I I'd like to find out more. You so, really, I know you're trying to enticing because Satan works that way and I have to say the way you guys are carrying on is not right if you're Christians you're coming as a Christian you okay come with this kind of sneering Satanish sort of I don't believe LNG was a prophet that's fine that's right we're not talking about that okay talking, where do we agree on we think that Jesus Christ is the same but of where Christ. do we sure. disagree we disagree, disagree with the prophethood of LNG that's right we can disagree all of us can disagree it's not a problem I'm not trying to force it down your throat I'm saying that you're, Jesus you're inviting us to I'm discuss not. about LNG no, White, you, are you, you not? Are you motive. inviting us to talk you about LNG White? You alternative motive, brother. You know that. Okay, so Satan. now we're just poisoning the well. No, no, you are because coming. you seem like you don't want to defend your prophet, just as much as every Christian is called upon to defend the deity of Jesus Christ. Yes, you do. You're giving a free book out. You're preaching a false doctrine. I'm, I'm reading into the Great Controversy, yeah. correct? Where are you at in the, in the midst of the book? Where are you in the midst of the book? I, I need to read it. That's what okay, I said. Forget it. But do you, you do you know why I disagree with Ellen G. White? Why is that? Because, for example, she says dancing is satanic. I disagree with that. I disagree that you have to be you a vegetarian. I disagree that the Sabbath has to be on a Saturday. For, day Paul, Paul, All right, I'm for Paul teaches that you're in... You're talking a lot, brother, Karen. Am I talking about Paul? Don't let me have my interjection. When you talk, Does talking Paul about not them? teach that no matter what Sabbath you hold or food you eat, all are one in Jesus Christ? Because Jesus Christ is the Lord of the Sabbath and in him every day is the Sabbath. And who does, who does Jesus take his quick authority from? Who is Jesus? No, Wait, are you, are, you, are you a Trinitarian Seventh-day Adventist? No, I'm not. So you're... So you're okay, because I understand... I don't believe in three gods. Well, we believe, believe in three gods. persons. Three gods. You believe okay. in three gods. So now God, I, the, God the Spirit, God the Father, God the Son. God the Father okay. is supreme. So I invite you then to post an argument where the Trinitarian doctrine teaches it the existence of three beings. No, it comes to the one true it comes to apostolic the, church established no, by Jesus Christ. Christ. Council of Nicaea, all okay. come together. Okay. Constantine, Constantine, all those guys are coming from the Catholic. Oh no. They're coming from the Catholic. Okay. So have you read Defending Constantine where it says that only 5% of Rome were Christian. So you saying that it's a pagan doctrine established pagan. by Nicaea it is, is wrong. For example, it we have St. Justin Martyr's apo a first pagan. apology. Prior to Nicaea, chapter 15, doctrine. talking about the doctrine Where of the Trinity. Where does the sun come from? Where does Sunday worship come from? You want to say it came from Jesus dying on, on rising on the Sunday. It didn't. It came from Constantine when he joined the pagan beliefs of his, his empire with the Christians. So why, why would Can you prove that by any chance? Can so I prove why it in does Bible Constantine, hold on. God so if he's appeasing the pagans, why does then Constantine coming back Christian. to Nicaea refuses to venerate Neptune, a highly sought after Satan's God in the Roman clever. society? Satan's very, he's a seed of angels in heaven. He can easily okay. see men. So why so do we have Origen, who have always condemned writes about the Trinity prior to Nicaea. Why do we have Saint Justin Martyr writing about the Trinity prior to Nicaea? Why do we see the doctrine of the Trinity in the Old Testament? Where is the attack from Satan? Where is the attack most on? 
Where has he taken from Satan? A church established after the apostolic church, after the church established in Jesus Christ in Matthew 18, 18. After that, you see the prophet from Satan, L.A.G. White, establishing this church, which would later develop into a oneness a denomination of the church of Jesus Christ, which is from Satan. His attack is on the church, a remnant church. That's his okay, attack. so can, I ask, you, what, can yeah. I ask you what Does the Trinity is found in the Old Testament? You've asked what a question, you've done a lot of Let me talk about what I, I believe, right? And then yeah. I'll go back into it. In creation, sorry, of creation, we understand that day one, don't we? Day two, three, four, five. On the sixth day, he made man. On the seventh day, he rested. He said that day is well, sanctified. He did. Okay. He said that day is sanctified and it's a holy day. He sanctified that special day. He didn't sanctify Sunday. Is there a he didn't make it holy. Hold on. Is there a distinction to God's Sabbath? and human Sabbath, because it's God's rest. God's rest. We, we, are to uh, we observe the Sabbath so that God. we may observe God's eternal rest. We do, eventually. But what's oh wait, so there's a distinction between Here God's is, Sabbath. Make a new, no, make a new heaven and earth. Wait, wait, is there a distinction between God's Sabbath? No, there's not. God's rest no, there's and not. the human Sabbath no, and their rest. It's said that humans can't create as God can create. Wait, so why so is different. Jesus, wait, if you believe he is just a prophet, why then, it, really wait, that. so then is he a mask of God? Is he an expression of God? He is his begotten son. Son? Begotten son. What does that mean is to you? Is Jesus divine? Of course he is. Okay, so about? is Jesus God? He's the son of God. Is Jesus God? Of course he is, my brother. Okay, so he's, he's of God. It, he's is there of one God. being of God? God has father, he has his son, right? Yes. Who is also known as Michael the Archangel in heaven. He's known as Michael the Archangel. You don't know that because you don't know about the sanctuary. What goes on in the sanctuary, my brother? What is going on now? Where is Jesus now in the sanctuary? What is he doing for Christians when well, they fell? this is just a made-up prophecy. When they fell? And this prophecy no, was wrong. made out of the necessity you the that Jewish. your, your no, prophets you're wrong. were wrong. You're wrong. Your prophets look at the wrong. Jews. You literally admitted, you, you conceded wrong. that the prophecy God's chosen changed. People, God's chosen people were Israel. They apostatized. They're stiff-necked people. Though God forgave them, they kept them going for apostasy. So it's physical. Israel, so, so is you, spiritual. You've refused Israel. to actually establish your doctrine. So no, is there one you're coming, being of you're God? coming with a Is there one you've being got a of God? Deceiving spirit, my is brother. There one you haven't got the Holy Spirit. I have to say that. Discerning. God, God okay, that's discerning. just poisoning the well. You are the one. That's you just are the poisoning, poisoning the well. Because you came here with an alternative motive. Yes. You didn't come here because as a brother. I do not Christ. believe in the Seventh day Adventist then? Church. I am giving you the same tone, the same intention that I would with a Muslim. Because you are as wrong as the Muslim. You are as wrong as the Jews. You are the wrong spirit. You are not Christian. You are wrong. Are you Christians? You're not Christians. Christian. I don't worship on Sunday like you Christians do. Oh wait, do we, I'm, I'm guessing we you worship on Sunday. Worship. Rock, you do, don't you? You worship oh, on Sabbath? Right. Do you worship on Sabbath, brother? Do well, you keep the Sabbath? Worship the Sabbath. You no, I don't. You on the Sabbath. Don't twist my words, brother. You, you, you are covered with a deceiving spirit as well. Okay. Both of you are deceivers. So, so just, just because we disagree with you. Yeah, but you came with that attitude, my brother. Because we disagree. So, and please don't film that, because I take you off, brother. Take off. So, go away then. Just get out. Is that the spirit working in you, sir? You work in spirit. You came with evil. You came. So, but you're the one got Is that the spirit working in you? Do you do you come with the wrong spirit? Do you have a name, my friends, or a name I should call? Okay, brother. No, I'm not your brother. I want to try. I, I want to try having a conversation with you. Uh, I, I, I paid attention to what you said, and I want to probe some of the things you said. You came to see the spirit. You came as well. Well, but believe it or not, you're smiling. But you don't ask me, film. Believe it or not, are you at a public table giving free books? So, okay, we'll stay, we'll stay. Here's your camera. You went up to the cameraman and started touching him. So, that's because I don't want to be filmed. I don't want to be filmed. That's a shame, then get someone else to speak all over your face. Are you scared of your face? I'm not but I won't oh, be here, would I? About your face, Mr. Controversy. No, Hi. I'm not Mr. Controversy. Yeah, what, you, what should I call you? Don't call me anything, because I'm not your brother. Because uh, you obviously show any, me you're coming to something, coming something so, motive. You call yourself a Christian, enough, brother? You call I didn't a know much you call about, a about the Seven Day Adventists until you, you just it. told me about them. Yeah, about it, brother. So, you everything that I know now is what you told me. No, not really. May I probe some of the things you told me? You can't go by a man. You have to go and search yourself. Search the word. Okay. You find out what, what's in the word. I have a small problem. What problem is this? Uh, the problem of the additional prophets who can tell you is, more things about God. What is the God. spirit of prophecy? What are the two yeah. key characters in the Bible yeah. and Revelation? What are so they? So people can have so the gift of prophecy in that they are able to receive messages from oh, God yes. about things yet to occur, right? Correct. However, when it comes to receiving new revelation, new AKA, revelation, AKA telling us new things about God, 
Um, um, the, the classical what, belief what in the church. What new things have you heard? So, for example, the, the things that you're this proposing. Bible, so, yeah, this is in the Bible. Daniel, but the yes. idea in the 1800s of Jesus moving from, from what, what one area to a different area. That's fine in Israel. In Spanish, that, Spanish, is in not, that is not apostolic in any way, right? In Leviticus. So, just because you find a concept in Leviticus. And what did you say? For, 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 for example, for example the time. Uh, uh, in, in Exodus, you have the making of the ark, right? Of course. Now, then, if you somehow had somebody come in today saying that Jesus has now gone back in the box, for example, right? You can find it in Exodus because the presence of God is in the no, ark, sorry, but it's is it true? Prophecy. It's not prophecy, my brother. So, it's not prophecy. how can. Daniel's prophecy, and so is John. In order for what the lady, uh, Ellen G. White, or whoever uh, you, you mentioned it's in the 1800s. Prophecy, my yeah, it's different. But, and God gives prophecy to see that things are but to come. Here's the issue. That's what it is. The lady you mentioned in the 1800s, who said that Jesus has moved from one sanctuary she to, a, to her, another. Actually. Sorry? She was the only one who said it. There's other people studying. That, the, Miller, the Millerites were studying it. The Millerites? Yeah. Ellen G. White, and who else? Others. There's quite a few. Okay. L.T. Jones. So, quite a few. L.T. Jones. Let's take these three ladies. How on earth can we confirm these prophecies if none of us can see heaven? You have to go by faith, my brother. Have you seen Jesus yourself in a physical form? I have not seen Jesus. Well, there you are. You go by faith. However, it's faith, my a, a, a moment, a moment, faith. a moment. Yes, yeah, uh, you're so, not talking a lot okay, of questions. That's fine. I, I, faith, I can explain brother. to you how I, I, I believe in Jesus. But do you think how you came across here was the right way? Do you think you, did you come here with a, 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 a feeling to find out more about this sincerely? I or did. you come in with a alternative motive? Your so friend, my friend, friend has not already right. not right. I'm my sorry. friend that's has already uh, researched. That's, your organization. He's wrong then, because we don't believe that she's a prophet like that. Okay. She's not a bear herd as the Bible always first. She said it herself. The greater light always first. Right. You can't you can't have this without the Bible. But do you see the issue with believing issue in, in the, the three ladies you mentioned? Do you see the issue in believing in their prophecy when it can't be confirmed? Prophecies need to be you confirmed to in some faith. way. Well when Jesus said study Daniel, at the time John hadn't done the um the book of Revelation. So when you see Daniel linked to Revelation, you understand. That Jesus is coming soon and he's in the most holy. If you read Hebrews, you find out he's our high priest. And where's the high priest go? And what is the day of atonement? You find out what the day of atonement is. If you do your research, read the Bible, go into Leviticus, find out what the roles are. The pattern of Israel is a pattern at the end. That's what it is. The issue it's, it's is. It's a cyclic pattern in the Bible. You see so cycles. The, the issue it's is. A timeline these as well. things you see from Israel in Leviticus and in Exodus mm. and in Deuteronomy, mm. these are all things that just point to Jesus. Yes, Jesus right. is not bound by those rules and laws and regulations. He's bound by it. But the rules that he puts together, that like he is love, for instance, he's bound by love, for instance. He says things, he right. keeps his commandments, so, so he keeps what he says. That's, that's, that's what he's bound by. That's different from no, him not, having to enter a temple that, no, and enter no, the Holy of Holies. Brother, you're wrong. The, te the temple, the sanctuary is a pattern of how it's going to be. The most holy is where Jesus is. That's where the sanctuary is, um, not sanctuary, where the um, Ark of Covenant is, the two angels over the Ark. That's where Jesus is at the moment. And he intercedes for fallen brothers and sisters who believe in him. You sin still, brother. I sin still. But what does God do? He has an intercessor, Jesus Christ, our high priest. He intercedes on our behalf. That's why you have to read Leviticus to know what the role of the high priest is. That's what Jesus is. Read Hebrews yourself, the whole chapter, and you'll understand that he is a high priest at this present time. Yes, he died on the cross for our sins. Yes, our sins then, if you look at the sanctuary, the sins of us are covered by his blood, but they're in the sanctuary. To get them clean now, you have to have the day of atonement where he takes the sin out, he puts it on the scapegoat, which is Satan, and Satan is destroyed with his angels. That's what happens. You have to read the Bible to show yourself approved, my brother. Surface reading and thinking that Jesus is our saviour and that's it. It's more than that, my brother. It's more. We're saying a great controversy. If you ain't took time to read it, you'll see the last five chapters talk about this time here. She had a revelation of Jesus. But it always goes back to the Bible. Always goes with the Bible. So if you can't understand the symbols of the Bible, like what is a two-horned two beast and things like that, Elgin White explains it to you. That's all it is. So I don't believe that she's a prophet that I must revere and that's it. No. The Bible always comes first. Jesus is first. Always. That's what it is. I don't come here to have arguments. I come to share with people who are sincerely in need of a saviour, who know, who have, have a, um, a problem with well, how life is going on, seeing the things that are happening. This is what I've come here for, not to have arguments with so-called believers. This is not what it is. If you really love your brother and sister, you would show that love. You wouldn't carry on the way you are. So I'm sorry, brother. I don't, I don't believe you have a sincerity of heart. So that's it. I'm not going to say anymore. I let you speak. May I criticise some of the things you, you said? said? Lots of things already, my brother. Well, I, I, haven't, right I, I haven't done yet. I, I'm still probing you, actually. I, I still want what to know more. What do you believe? Huh? What do you believe? Okay, so 
Here's what I believe. I believe that you are right about certain things. Indeed, Jesus is our high you, priest forever in the Ulama Chizadek. I believe in that. Now, here's my issue. The claim that... I don't like that, the camera, though, brother. Can you turn the camera away? I don't like it. Well, are you okay if... if, if okay, that's fine. That's fine. No problem with that. Now... Uh, I think we're to the mic up as well. Well, do you... One to one to one. Well, we can talk one to one, but I think for the benefit of people, it's important to record no, these really. conversations. But I didn't, I didn't agree to it. You came in my space. Okay. I didn't agree to you to record me. You know okay. Saying? It's like me going to you and asking what you, you believe. And yeah. And been probing well, you since well, I believe. I, 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 I talk to thing. you because I, I don't mind being on camera, okay? But it's, you, it's, it's your problem. Okay. It's your fair enough, fair enough. So, okay, so we, we, we can do one of two things for you. We can just blur your entire face. That, that's not a problem. No, I'll just take it out altogether. I don't want to be part of that. Because I believe you had him the wrong intentions. I don't believe you had to say for God inside your heart. So That's what I don't believe. I, I don't think, you, came think here you can trust your own intuition if currently you're believing in this stuff. That's what because you, you're not God. You're not God to read my heart. You don't yes, know my life. You don't exactly. know anything about me, brother. But from and what you, you are, tell me, I, I can see that you're, you're like getting some very severe things wrong. I, and that's you are. You, are you, came with a, you came with a wrong attitude anyway. You come to my space. So notice that come here to, um, the entire time we've been talking, you're the one who's been upset, and I haven't been. Because your friend so, has got, yes, it's easy for you to do, do that. Do you, you have the right attitude? You came in and pause. It's easy. If one of you, if you came one on one, it's slightly different. I'm right here, brother. It's just you have me. to understand. You think you know how it is. You believe as a man, you have three people coming towards one man. That man's got obviously going to feel that he's been attacked. When you're bringing things well, with the wrong only attitude. feel attacked if we actually attack you. You did, but, but so so far, your you, friend you did. Feel fine. Verbally, you did. Well, my friend didn't say anything to you oh, that was verbally was abusive. His attitude was wrong. Right. right, I'm coming here not to share. If um, you're a gentle soul, that, that that that's fine. I apologize on his behalf. Gentle, so, now, so about that. I still with... have an issue with some of the things you said, and I want to tackle those, please. No, so I want you to find out what you believe first. Okay, and I'm telling you what I believe. Not my issue. While simultaneously criticizing what you, what you said. Go on, what you now, believe? I do not believe that our sins are put on Satan. That you is not believe. how it works. How is that? that how that, is the Leviticus? Oh, 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 hold on a second. Hold on a second. How is the pattern? As you're aware. Christ becomes a curse on the cross for us. It's not the devil who becomes a curse for us. Christ does. Saying that You're Christ wrong, puts saying that Christ because puts our sins was here. upon the devil. He's in the most holy. What happened then in the crucifixion? Who bore our sins? The devil Jesus or Christ? Did. Jesus bore it. Okay. But great. Where's now, the sins go? Where's the sins that you commit now, now go? The sins do where's not necessarily sins? go anywhere, as in they have their own existence. Sins are simply you when know, you brother. fall short. Sorry. You're of wrong. the will of God. I can't agree with you. You're right. wrong. Hold you, don't, you haven't read the hold on, hold you, don't know, you don't know the pattern. So, so you're you putting know. a lot of weighting on, on your erroneous no, understanding of Leviticus. So you're saying the Bible's erroneous to say no, Leviticus? No, right. your you're you're understanding's erroneous. Your understanding's you erroneous. You have to be careful what you're saying. Because God has given his word. For example, the word is surface there, reader, my brother. But your understanding is deeper. wrong. Your surface. For example, your surface reader. Seriously, my my main issue with you and your belief uh, is something like this: the three ladies you mentioned, the Ellen G. White. Oh, the, the Ellen. Oh, Ellen G. White is a man. Brother, then you, 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 that shows how much I know. Then because the, the, a woman, huh? the other two are men. Oh, many they, more. They, they sound like they, they, they had the name of ladies. Worry, okay, so so, so Ellen G. White is a lady, right? And, and the other two men. Now you've mentioned them as being prophets, but my issue no, with you remains. They have a spirit of prophecy. Okay. Spirit of prophecy. Can the spirit God of prophecy anybody. give you new revelation, as it did with, for example, John? No, what it does, it explains certain things that might be you can't grapple with. Things that you, for instance, do you know all the symbolisms in the Revelation? Do you know all the symbolisms? No. But there, there you are. There are God various you, interpretations. There's only one truth, though, brother. One truth. Sure. And but how you're. you're there how might, you're, there might be many analogies that can also signify that one truth. God says his people are one people at the end, a remnant, a small, a small number, 144,000, right at the end, Ooh, who keep his commandments. You believe that the, the number is literal? I do believe it is, because it goes on to say 12 tribes from Judah, 12 tribes from Reuben, 12,000 12, from Judah, 12,000 from Reuben, it goes right through Gad. Now, yeah, so but the I problem believe. is the majority of people don't belong to those tribes. What do the tribes represent, my brother? Oh, 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 so, okay. so the number is literal and the tribes the are tribes? non-literal. No. Have you read what the tribes mean? Wait, wait, so, so do, what, do, what do you see why I call it erroneous? No, the number is literal. But you, then the tribes are non-literal. It sounds right because you don't, you haven't read the Bible. How do you come to the conclusion that the number because, is literal? Because when you see Reuben, because when you see Reuben, you see his characteristic. You see that spiritual Israel, 
is what they're supposed to be. It's the Gentiles now. Because physical Israel, have, because they lost their um, special peculiarity when the, um, um, Jerusalem was surrounded by the Romans and all the Jews were, were destroyed in that, 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 that moment there. So the city of um, Jerusalem is no more longer God's dwelling place. And so everybody in Jerusalem at the time was from the tribe of, of, of Reuben? No, no, no one. But I'm saying that was, this is a different conversation. I'm saying that pattern there, you see that pattern now. So the Reubenites um, are actually one of the tribes and they have a character, certain characteristics. So God's people who have that characteristic are on, on the, those certain 12 tribes particular characteristics. That's what it is. That's why Gad has a particular characteristic. That's why um, Ben, the Benjamites have a particular characteristic and the 12 tribes come under those characteristics. So when you go to heaven, you see the three gates, the three gates on each side of the heavenly, the heavenly city. Each one goes through their gates, each tribe. You know that's true, brother, because it says it in the word, if you know that. So your literally? They do, it literally is. Okay, God says it, so, it the, so the number's literal. The tribe are metaphorical and the gates are literal. How are you coming to these conclusions? Because I read the Bible and I asked God to guide me in it. And, 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 and then you, you, you got a feeling that a feeling, numbers feeling. are literal, the I know are metaphorical. Before I didn't and believe it, was. The, the but then the first years you got to go and you read the Bible and you get to know God, He shows things to you. I see. That's what and I believe. So, so effectively, you value private revelations above mm. like the tradition that has been passed down to you from not the church. Necessary, not necessary. I can see that um, all churches are going to become daughters of um, Babylon, all Christian churches. I see. Because, first of all, you're keeping the same Sunday, which is the Sun God's Day, which well, is the second day. The, the, so so the, the issue here is that uh, arbitrarily assigning a name to a day does not prove if you're following God or not. For example, no, it doesn't, doesn't prove, for, for you example, do, you do you're, you're aware that different cultures have different numbers of days in their yes, weeks. Yes, I am. But not every at, culture has seven. For example, true, I'm from Nigeria, mm -hmm. and the uh, people I come from used to have a four-day week. The cycle is not that though. You look at the moon and the sun, they give you a cycle. So, you know, it's a seven day yeah, cycle. Yeah, but the, the well, not necessarily because everybody looks at the same moon and sun mm, and know. thinks about different no, calendars. You can think what you like, but God has already put down, you already said it in Revelation. Oh, sorry, in Genesis, day one was such, day two was such. It goes right through and he says, yeah, day seven was a day he sanctified and made holy. That's right. That's what he says. But why, does that, why does that prove that what, what you experienced there is a week? Because God said it was. All, where said it where was. does it say that's once a week? He didn't say day eight after that, did he? Right, but effectively, just because you name seven days doesn't then mean that you have to then establish your week around the seven days. I don't do it. It's the sun and the moon show you that. It's, that's how it works. The sun and, and, the, and the moon don't do show cycles. us that they seven do. days. It's a cycle. It is. It's a seven well, if, it's a cycle. if that was Have you the, studied it, my brother? Okay, have so... Have you studied the lunar, the lunar um, calendar and, and the sun has solar calendar and how it works out the months But these dates. are man-made calendars, no, not, not God-made. Brother. You look at the sun and you watch it. That's like you have a sundial and it gives you the time. Yeah? The old, the old, the old, um. Not every do, culture used sundials. But the old they ones who established. Ways of that's why we have time. Babylon, who was one of the greatest empires ever. That's why it's the head of gold. That's why I have Did Persia. Babylon have a seven day week? I wouldn't know. So I'm not following Babylon. Okay. Because what does Babylon mean? It means confusion. So I don't follow that. I follow what God established. I, I don't think before. Babylon itself means confusion, it but Babylon, I, I think it's yeah. synonymous with, 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 with but it confusion. Does mean, in the Bible, when it, when it refers to Babylon, it does refer to that as being confusion. I don't think the actual word is confusion. Oh, but again, confusion. going back to my and main again, point, believing that new prophets can come or new people with a who can come life, and give you new revelation. Not when really it's against the Bible, I don't believe that. Okay, That's awesome. The Bible. Now, the idea that God moves from one area of heaven mm -hmm. to another area of yeah. heaven. Mm -hmm. Do you believe that God is some kind of physical entity? Of course he is. Physical? He's got a body, he says so. So a head. His head, what color is his head? What color is his arms? And I see. What is that? So, when you This is great, because... Because you, 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 you No, 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 hold on, hold on. No, doing. You can't, like, no my this is great, right. this is great. You have to go in and, and actually this is give me great. some things that you believe in. This is great, you're just, right? You're just taking what I'm taking. Here's why this is great. In your private study, whatever you're praying to, did it ever reveal to you that maybe that those understandings of God having a head, eyes, a heart, mm -hmm. even crying out like a woman in childbirth, mm -hmm. that, that maybe there are analogies? Like, for example, the tribes that you mentioned in Revelations. Maybe there are analogies. What form did Jesus come when he came to earth, my brother? He came in the form of a man. Was he divine? But is he a man? Like, essentially, in God's not. existence, is he a man? Of course he's not. Amen. I agree with that. And so all, so, the, all so, the allusions your beliefs, to hands and feet and eyes and a head mm. are not literal. Do we agree with this? 
they are now. Because you know why? He says, forever I'll have the holes in my hands and the holes in my feet to show, even when in heaven, when we get to heaven, he's going to have those things. That is Jesus in the incarnation. But don't forget that we believe that he is both fully man as well as being fully yes, he God. He's giving up possessing both because attributes. Because he loves humanity so much, he gave up that right to be everywhere at one time. He's got a literal body. Oh, so, so the God you believe in has changed. Once he was all-powerful and now he's no longer all-powerful. He's still all-powerful. All okay. He's in heaven. He's coming back. Great. The only thing, brother, is you're wasting my time. Why is an all-powerful God moving from one sanctuary to a different because sanctuary to put our needs, to put our, our sins on Satan? He's established a pattern in the Bible. Have you read Leviticus? That sounds a bit because, ridiculous. No, it doesn't. You have to read, because you, you have to read my, my, the sanctuary. My final read point, the sanctuary, my brother. My final point was that. Have you read the sanctuary? Have you read the sanctuary? So, have you read the sanctuary? I ceremonies? can read the have sanctuary. You, read you don't know it. But my interpretation so of a sanctuary you have to be very careful what might you mock, not be the same. It's God's word. As yours. It doesn't matter. It's quite well, plain. I am mocking your the understanding. Day of atonement. The day of atonement is plain. It's, I'm no, mocking your understanding. There's no change in the actual it. words. No, you are mocking because God. Because the words are. I'll let you tell you this what, now, brother. Are you God by any chance? I'm not God. Okay. okay. But so your understanding. I know you're mocking God because you're bringing things that you haven't read that you should be very careful of. If a brother came to me and said certain things, I would say, brother, I haven't read that before. Yeah, I'll go back and read don't that. Forget, you've told you have me done that wrong. Your criteria, you've done wrong with all this you have. I'm sorry, brother. But the problem My is heart tells me you're wrong. Your, your criteria for judging wrong. things. You and the other brother and this brother here are in wrong. You are actually doing Satan's work. And your criteria uh, when God comes for these people, is faith. You have to be very careful. Be very careful, my brother. Because God is not about dividing people. He's about bringing people. Don't not put them in. It's not about dividing people. You know in your heart, brother, that is the right thing you're doing. Yes, you might not agree on energy and why. It doesn't matter. Do you believe that Jesus Christ is your saviour? These are the things we've got to do. Okay. Then you see, what is prophecy for? Prophecy to give right to God's people. It's not for the work, because the world don't really understand they don't believe in God. But if you believe as a believer that God says he's coming soon, and it gives you conditions in Matthew 24, famines, pestilence, rumours of wars, wars, we know this happened in the past, they're going to come more and more. You'll see, my brother. You've got gain of function things that the elites are doing, right? That COVID war, that COVID arm disease that came out, that was planned. They said it was from Wuhan. It's not. It was America and Wuhan together. And when you see in Revelation who the land might be, see who the Noah's going on, and you see who the peace is. So, people. Um, I think the conversation has yeah, come to an end. That's right. I'm sorry, um, brother, you had to carry on like that. My friend, I'm I'm, I'm going to say, please okay. abandon this nonsense no, you abandon and nonsense. follow the actual God I'm of the Bible, you are wrong, not brother. some random find... prophets who comes in the 1800s. Because the, the, the comes issue the now comes. What if more people come in this year and claim more insane things about God? As long as do you have to, to follow them as long as you have the faith and your erroneous understanding of the Bible is satisfied? You are wrong. I told you already, as long as it aligns to the Bible. Didn't I not say that? So brother? if a prophet comes that today and, and tells to you that God is a woman, that's wrong, and then brother. points, you know to, that. and then point, you know and then wrong, points to maybe you Isaiah, wrong, where God no, says not, that He's not. crying out like it's a woman not, in childbirth. No, no, no. Would you have faith no, and believe no, that? No, no, because I know who God is. I don't, okay. I don't believe that. Brother. So really you have some amount of common sense. No, 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 no. Apply you that, no please, also you came with the to your prophets. You All right, you're not worshiping God. Have a good day. But I would say abandon that prophet and follow Jesus. Okay. You are doing wrong. You came over here with deceitful heart. You didn't come over here to share good, good faith with Jesus. You came with a wrong message. Well, uh, ultim so go. Please, ultimately, please, please go. Please. so go. Well, when I want to share the good no, message, you, the, 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 you, then you warn me to. away. Just go, just go, brother. You come for, I don't want satanic calm. It is your heart life. closed off? To you it is, my brother, because you have shown that you're not Did Jesus right tell you to close you your show. heart off to other people? Is that what, what Jesus said? I've given you time. I've given you about 15 minutes I already have one, thank you. 20 minutes. You've shown you haven't changed. You actually haven't said, oh, my brother. Well, oh, I, I, I did call that. you brother and you told me not to do this. You yeah, don't do that, yeah. I don't think you are my brother. I think you need to go away, do what you're doing, you do what you want to do. If you feel like this is the right path for you, you follow it, brother. For me, come to is, Jesus, you, abandon the controversy. I've got more experience than you, and I know that this is true. Well, you're also more hard headed out. than me. No, I'm not hard headed. I know that God is Which hard. is the issue? The idea of you can't teach no dog new tricks? I think yeah. unfortunately that but, applies to you in this instance. Let me say this, brother. I did believe in a tree in God. Okay. But I read the Bible and it got show me more things and real things to me. I believe that's not true. Jesus says, when the doves ask Jesus, who does, who should have, show, Jesus, show us how, how to pray? Because our Father who art in heaven. That's fine. Right? Right? That's fine. Go, pray to me, Jesus Christ. What? I'm say, he, does say, say, he does say, say, say that. that you can ask him for anything he in can, his name God, and he'll give Father, it to you. Through God the Father. No, but he literally said, ask me for anything in my name and Jesus, I will God give is, it to you. God has accepted that. Okay. So it appears that you can pray to Jesus. 
and he, he will give I you things. Sometimes. Now, that would definitely mean that he's God, not an of angel. Of course he's Because God. you can't pray to angels but he's positioned, positioned in heaven. If you know the great controversy, it's between Satan and Christ. Why is that the case? You, don't have, you haven't read the there Bible, There is brother. no controversy there between is. Jesus and Christ. So Jesus and Satan. There is. So, sorry, Jesus, there is no controversy between Jesus and Satan. If you read the Bible, you'll know where because it came Jesus from. Because Jesus is the ultimate judge who will judge Satan. There is no controversy. That's right. He's been judged already. Exactly. So, so there is no controversy. There is a controversy. I mean, for example, uh, how do you here. define controversy? What is the uh, um, what is Satan saying to the world? Why why are we have the people at the top are following Satan? Why do we do that? And please don't put that there. Why is Satan? Why is Satan got the elites? Why has he got their hearts? Following Jesus is the harder path, the narrow path, the more difficult Jesus, path. Is, Jesus said to why. pick up your cross and follow him. He tells you that he who saves his own life will lose it. And he who loses his own life for Jesus' sake will then gain it. So effectively, the people at the top, the elites, mm -hmm. they want to go down the easier route, the harder routes. I don't think it's the easy route, my brother. It is when easier. Jesus, when Jesus, um, it's instant gratification. When There's Jesus, no suffering involved. When Jesus was tempted, one of the temptations uh, Satan gave him was you put him on a pinnacle. All the kingdoms of the earth. That is where it comes from. It's to do with power. It's to do with um, But do you see how money? easy the offer was? How easy? What the offer mean? was very easy. The offer was simply bow to me and I'll give you everything. A lot of people are That's all it took, right? A lot of are so now if you compare that offer to the offer that Jesus gives his disciples, mm -hmm. because you, they hated me, Jesus says, they'll also they hate you. you. That's, That's a mean. lot more difficult of than just saying go out to the mountain and bow to me. But it's much more than that, isn't okay. it, brother? It's much more like so, me bow. So, why do the elites follow him? Because it is easier. That's what you believe. I believe when you think about it, if you see um, Kanye West and those guys, right? Um, the dark ages around them, you, you, you see that a lot of them, are not, they're not in a good place. They've got things around them that are not going to help them, uh, bring them down, and they're not getting sleep and stuff like this. So, it, yes, it might seem easier. But in the end, it's not the easy one because you're going to lose out as well. So My last question would then be this idea that the Trinity is three gods. Where are you getting this from? It says it in the Bible. Not Bible. It says it um, in the new kind of Bibles that they're bringing out. But it says it, um, those that follow um, the Catholic kind of teachings, they believe that. And the Jesus that it shows is always small. When they, when they have Mary, they believe Mary is the mother. All denominations of, of Christians believe that Jesus is God in the proper sense, not that he's an angel. The it's Protestants the believe, well, the majority of them at least, but apart from the I Wonders Boys. I said to you, when he's in heaven, he took on the role as an angel, Michael the Archangel, and that's what it is. So Michael the Archangel is a different kind of being than God the Son. The same, but it's a different title. No, a Jesus different kind God, of being. No, Jesus, Jesus Christ, so even a, his name a, is Jesus a, Greek. Even though angels so Yeshua, just mean messengers, a angelic beings are a different kind is of Jesus being. Is Jesus a messenger? Sorry? Is Jesus a messenger as well? In one sense, he yes. Is. Yes, he is. Right? However, he is not a, a being that is a messenger an like an angel. If you get is. Revelation 14 and then read up to 13, from 13 it tells 14, you that Jesus says, Michael is an angel. stands up. Michael stands up for these people. Angels can't stand up for us. We're not their people. Jesus is our, ours and we're his. So when it says Michael stands up for his people, Michael stands up for his people, yeah? It says that. He stand up, Jesus so stand up for his you're people. interpreting this as Michael being Jesus. I said it already to you. In heaven, I said that Jesus' role as one of the angels is uh, Michael the Archangel. I said it to you already. So, Jesus' role is not the role of Michael the Archangel. His role is to return, judge the world, separate the sheep from the ghost, That's and then cast the unfaithful his role in heaven at the moment? out into the Is that his role in heaven at the moment? Is that his role in heaven? His, his role in heaven is the role of the son. He comes from the no, father and he, is the, he, and he is the one who actions out the father's will. You're, you haven't read the Bible properly, brother. Because you understand. Well, you haven't read it properly either because you're I've understanding. I've read better than you. I tell you, I'm older than you and I've read more than you. But right? here's the problem. Because he's you might have read more, moment. more than me, but you've understood way less than I do. You don't understand. To get the idea you that are the Trinity means three gods, but that's what that, it says. That, that's, Look it up. That's Google insane. It. Google it up, my brother. So, 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 God the Son, God so, the Father, so God now the suddenly your, your age and your understanding is of no use. Now Google will tell me if well, the truth is three gods. You, you, where are you getting the definition from? Go and get the um, is it Collins Dictionary or something. We have a reading there. It'll say it in there. And, and look up Trinity and I'll get three gods. I'm sure it's, it's going to say it in there, I'm sure. It's well, Trinity, you, 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 you read it, right? Because you're older no, than I'm, me, right? I read Google. I just read it on Google. Okay. Yeah, this time, so, most people go to Google. So, your, your, your age has amounted to you believing in things that are untrue by faith and relying on Google 
for critical information about God? No, not critical. It's not critical. Well, it's, the, it's, the, it's, the Trinity it's, it's, is critical because how else can the Father, Son, and Spirit then, for example, work in our salvation if they're not God? They're not working on salvation. They Jesus, are. Jesus is working on salvation. Jesus well, is so is the Spirit. Oh, through, on Jesus. Who is coming spirit, to convict us of sin comes and guide us? And guide us. The Spirit comes and well, convict through us through Jesus. Of sin. Jesus said, it's expedient for me to leave because I will send you another awesome. comforter. And then when right? we read John 16, 15, 16 and 17, all the way to 19, yeah. we then get the understanding that yes, the Father sends Jesus into the world and That's he correct. gives him a message that Jesus then gives to the Holy Spirit. So therefore, they are all properly God. Even Paul in Acts calls the Spirit God. So the spirit, the doctrine of the Trinity, very simply, is that there are three people who are properly called God: the Father, Son, and Spirit. So is that three gods? In nope, it is one God, three but heads. three persons of in God. one God, in three persons. Uh, one head, yeah? no, 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 no. In the one God, what that means is the nature of God. So we say that there is one divine existence, you nature. No, I told you that already. But you're not listening. Uh, no worries. Like we'll blur you. No worries. There's one. I don't care. I don't to Peter. I will give you this now, though. The one God here simply means that there is one, what we call you divine nature or divine essence. I don't want to have that's all. So it's, it's not three heads on, on, on a being. It's no, not, it's not a dragon or a hydra. No, this is cool. That's all right. Here we go. I wouldn't continue. It's not a dragon or a hydra. Are you also part of this group by any chance? Yeah, I am, and awesome. I don't want to talk. May I get and I you talk. to understand no, some do. things? So, so, and I don't want to talk anything about him. So, okay. why your friend here to hear believes to that the Trinity is three gods? Is that true? Three. I'm not going to tell you anything. I'm going to tell you to respect us and go I do. interview somebody else. I do. Okay. I, I respect you as. I'm taking my time. I respect you as being made in the image of God. Yeah, and you're deserving you're of the time. truth as a result. You taking my so, time. Do you believe the truth is three gods? You are taking my time. I'm not taking anything actually. You are yeah, taking you're, you're volunteering my it. time. You're volunteering it to me. If you have God in your heart, leave. Um, I you don't think that's the time. test of having God in your heart. Is there police around no. here? Um, I mean, you, you can you can. You are taking like. my time. Come, can come. you have the fruits so, of the Holy Spirit in you and leave us now? What fruits are you, you recognizing currently? Do you recognize? You're getting irritated. You don't want to talk with you. And you're yelling at me because we have Whereas a job to do. I'm here just standing still. Speak to the wall there. Um, right. I might as well talk to you because you're you're better than the wall, my friend. You're a little more handsome too than the we wall. We don't want to talk. Okay. In these terms. Now. We don't want to do it. My last question to you would be. I don't. You don't have do any you last no first that question. Trinity you don't have anything to tell me. You have to accept. If you have it. Christ, who is the very truth himself. Um, somewhere. Because they are de no, destroying no. my right, our right to be here. Uh, we are hearing peace. I, I, don't, I, don't I already told you. Destroying your right to be here. Leave us. Yeah, we don't want to speak. Okay, okay, so since you don't want to be leave helpful, us, I'll finish up with your friend and then no, I'll no, go. No, he doesn't want to speak anymore. So and you should accept this three gods. If thing. you have the spirit of God in you, you have peace and you leave. But even I, where is your peace? If I say something to you, if you don't accept, I have to accept. Are you at peace currently? It's your decision. Okay, great. Now here's what I'm going to say. The Trinity is not three gods, Turn it's one god. And in peace, go, go I would say your, go your wife way. is currently espousing more fruits than you are. I don't care about that. In honesty, you leave. Ma'am, I, I like Listen, your attitude. In all honesty, do something worth in your life and leave us. Go and spread the word. You're not going anywhere with me, as you already know. Leave us. Do you believe in the truth is three gods? I'm gonna tell you again. Leave us. So it's one Your god, right? Your conversation is pointless. We don't want to know anything. Leave us. You don't want to know anything. Leave us in the name of Jesus. So it's one god. Leave us in the name of Jesus. Well, You're not going anywhere. Do you believe in the correct Jesus? What a, how old are you? Huh? How old are I'm you? I'm 29. How about yourself? Hey, you're very pray. young, man. You don't understand. How about you? Let's go and pray. Pray? Sorry. You don't really understand. Okay, fair, fair enough. Um, okay, people, this is actually my first time uh, with these controversy people. Interesting stuff, but it's just the plain old heretical nonsense. Not believing in the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit as being the three persons of the one God, focusing on new prophecy and erroneous readings of Old Testament texts in order to justify a very random belief, claiming that 144,000 people will go to heaven, but then there's 12 tribes who are only meant to be a metaphorical notion 
of people groups with certain characteristics that you can divide from the Bible, claiming that God has moved from one quadrant of heaven to another one because it mirrors Leviticus. Uh, dude, like, please. Anyway, I pray that they come into the truth, uh, leave the controversy behind, and accept Christ. Amen.